<clears throat> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Happy Friday. Although, I probably won't get this video out on Friday. Uh, quick update. The uh, scrap parts swap meet FJ40. I'm not happy with that speed controller I put in it. You know, like the cheap Chinese 30 amp. So we splurged a little bit on this build since we went cheap everywhere. Well, we didn't go cheap on it, but you know what I mean. Oh, big kid, tiny truck. Does all kinds of uh, electrics, not just for the small ones. He does one tenth scale too. Sticker pack, nice little stickers. Candy, how can you go wrong with candy? So what we got, his, uh, it's still like the, the Chinese 32, I guess they escape 32, whatever. Hope that focuses right. Um, yeah, it's 25 amp micro speed controller, and he sells this two ways. I'll put a link in the description to a site. You can buy it fully assembled like this, ready to go. Battery lead, receiver, and that's where your uh, motor will plug in. Uh, yeah, brushless, yup, and it'll run brushed. So we get this <clears throat> Escape 32 Wi-Fi linker from his site. If I can get it open. Little Wi-Fi linker. So you plug this in, and I'll have to look. Okay, it says on the back. Shows on the back which way. Plugs into your receiver side. Plug a battery into it. It will Wi-Fi to, I'm guessing, anything that can connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use my phone. And you can go in and change parameters. They come with the generic setup in them for most motors is what the website says. Uh, but I think to run brushed, you have to go in there and you select brushed and then it will gray out all the other parameters for brushless and uh, let you do it uh, for brushed. So that's what we're going to do for that. Um, this is just an unboxing of it, but I'll add to the video. Once I get into it, I'll show the programming and then we'll put it in the truck. Um, so when I get to that, you know, I'll come back on here. All right. The uh, the programming part of it was pretty simple. Like I said, plug this into here, plug this into a, ba a battery, and uh, go to your Wi-Fi. I did it on my phone, my Google phone. And what I'll do at some point in here, I'll, uh, I'll put the screenshots of what you have on there, what you can change. And like I said, you put it in brushed mode, so then it grays out parameters that you don't use. So there's the speed controller. Uh, in this truck, I have the small Dumbo RC receiver. So I needed that little, oh, what were they? PH, PF, 1.5 connectors. So I had to make myself a little adapter, but that'll be okay. Um... I'll get that out of the way. And then this is the uh, the motor side. Like I said earlier, you know, it, it's got the three ports for brush. If I understand it right, the directions, well, there's not really directions uh, online. He, uh, he says the middle post is always positive. So I guess I don't understand. I know like on a, a brushless system, you know, you can change one of the poles I'm not sure. So kind of technically this small, uh, and they're a pH connector too, I believe on, on the motor. It goes in there real well. Uh, it's kind of made like it can. So if I put it in that side, the positives on the outside, the blacks in the middle, if I put it on the other side, my reds in the middle. So I'm going to try that. And uh, before we zip tie everything together, 
and I'm going to see, I guess I'm going to see if it works. And I should probably find the radio to this because I don't have an on and off switch. All right, the Dumbo RC. Well, we have power. All right, and it goes in reverse. But I need to see, I don't remember if I had this reversed. Oh, I think I do. Uh, well, let's see what it does here. Let's try channel two and reverse it. Okay. Sounds like it goes the same speed, forward and reverse. Oh, wow. So, in the parameters, um, I think there's four different ways you can change it. Um, forward only, forward reverse, forward brake reverse. I guess I don't know what the other one would be. Maybe there were only three. I have it on forward reverse, so you can just... There's no break. And I think I have the drag brake at zero. It's the portal axles, so I don't really think you need a drag brake with them. I don't know. I, I messaged them just to, with the screenshot to ask if I did the settings right. The BEC has, I think, three different voltages. 5.5, uh, 6.5. And maybe 8.5, 8.4. I think it skipped 7.4. If it didn't, then there's four. Uh, I have the Ramp Crab Servo in there, which is only rated at, uh, I think it only goes to six. It's like 4.5 or 4.8 to six. So I've kind of learned this in the past. You know, it might take the 6.5 volts, but we're not going to find out. So I set the BEC to 5.5, which plenty of power there and the throttle curve and I'll have to play with it so starting out uh I it starts at and I don't know if it's a percentage if it is it's five percent but that's I mean I'm barely oh wow I mean I'm gonna I'm going to put this up against the, the those two have the uh, MB100s in them, the uh, Enjoras. And we're definitely going to do a side by side. And remember, this truck, this doesn't have overdrive or underdrive. Those two both have underdrive rear axles. So that might be uh, something I change on this one. Okay, well it works, so I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm gonna get this double-sided taped on there. Again, we use the uh, I don't know what was this 3M Scotch, the Scotch red stuff, heavy duty. We're gonna do that. I'll get that in place, get all the wiring zip tied and cleaned up, and uh, then we'll come back. All right, I got everything in there, nice and clean. Put a little bit of the uh, double-sided tape on there on that bracket that I made, zip-tied everything. I'm still working on batteries. I'm I'm trying to trying to find something at least that size or a tad bit smaller, but that works. Body goes on good. Now, like I said, I can I, I message him. I'll see what he says about the settings. Okay. 
that's uh let's see here how slow i can make it go <laughs> oh yeah i'm liking it um i'm gonna play around with it some more see what he says about the settings and uh yeah we're gonna get this one outside and i just i never drove it yet really outside because I, I didn't like that other speed controller at all and this is uh this is a game changer man this is this is all right uh so anyways like i said i'll put a link below uh to that and like i said you can get uh you can get it assembled I, i'll just say it he has them he marked the prices down they're 50 dollars assembled uh, the programmer's $10, which you just need once. And uh, you can buy that in a kit form for $40, where you have to solder everything on yourself, which wouldn't be a bad idea either, but I figured for $10, I'm going to let him do it and get it so it's plug and play. So that is all on that. Um, we'll talk to you guys later.